So I am very happy to be, of course, at the 150th anniversary of the Gesellschaft Deutscher Chemiker and its forerunners. I have a long association with Germany and I mentioned that in my talk. It comes out of being a child of war-torn Europe and actually suffering on the part of uh, the Nazis. Then being a refugee after the war in Germany, that's where I learned German actually. And then eventually coming to America. But then another kind of relationship developed. My chemistry seemed to have a something of interest to German chemists. Uh, there was, a, I call it a synchrony of the imagination. And I had over the years 22 German postdocs, young people, and they formed a very strong tie, became professors, went into industry back here. I chose to talk at the meeting about diversity. I did that with a lot of trepidation. It felt risky because I did want to work up at the end to a social issue and I did want to praise, as I did Germany, for taking in a million refugees. But I actually wanted to tell a scientific story, but that was the easy part in some way. A story about how diversity occurs in chemistry, its uses in biology, the way evolution makes use of it. There was a part that I did not know, which was actually the hardest in terms of work of preparing this lecture, and that is the social science studies of diversity. It is business schools, schools of industrial labor relations, they're all interested in groups of people working together. And how do you get that most effectively? So that gets you into issues of diversity. So I traced the scientific story. I traced it with interesting stories that I know from biology, from chemistry. And I think I did get my message across. I felt the audience was very receptive. So I think it was a risk well taken. It's been a pleasure to be here.